A good Wednesday to everyone. Today is January 13, 2021. Welcome po sa isa na namang edisyon ng The Stock Market Today. Ako po si Benji Chidoro, inviting you to join me at sabay nating tignan ang pinakalatest na balita at ang resulta ng trading sa PSE. Lahat ng yan dito lamang sa January 13, 2021 edition ng The Stock Market Today. Okay, now, so let's take a look at what happened to the PSE index. The PSE index lost 15.26 points, so sideways pa rin ang kanyang movement. That's 0.21%. So halos almost uh, level lang, no? almost level lang siya. And it's smaller, it lost smaller points than yesterday. And uh, it's still um, within our resistance area within the 7200 uh, level 73 to 72 to 7300 level and you know, if you take a look at our market activity 106 um, companies declined 131 advanced while well, 37 remained unchanged and net foreign selling putayo 220 million as for the own share index the, it also lost uh, 0.07% on the sectoral indices the financials and the mining were the gainers, were the net gainers. The mining had uh, two point, a 2.13 percent gain, while the financials had a 1.5 percent gain. The rest had a ended in the red. This was led by the properties at 1.17 percent. So if you take a look at the most active stocks. So now uh, let's review Halos pareho siya from yesterday. We have APL, PHA, ASEN, VDO, DITO, SECB. By the way, we, we have news on the banks. And as we discuss SECB and the uh, video, I will be sharing with you the news. SNPH, ALI, MRC, and SM. So let's start with APL. Okay, APL had a morning star today. Or evening start today it had a candlestick with a short body but wicks on both sides it lost 0 0.014 points or 5.62 percent so it's just having a pullback right now and the nearest support of APL is I would say at 19 uh, just a moment let's repeat that Ito, nandito siya, nasa 19. Well, the nearest resistance, let's say, nandito siya. Nasa 27. 0.2753. Nagkaroon siya ng morning, or evening star rather. And um, from a breakout in January 11, it had two red candlesticks. One is an engulfing, uh, not really an engulfing, but a candlestick with a long body then followed by a an evening star however i think that uh, I, I feel that apl may be moving sideways with a support at 19.48 and resistance at 27.53 now when i talk of support and resistance these are not specific points but areas okay pha Okay, PHA had a breakout today with volume. So it gained 0.44 points or 
Just take note that there we have here a gap which will have to be filled up sometime in the future. If you'll take a look at our indicators, the indicators, our EMA20 represented by the orange line, which is our short-term indicator, the EMA50, which is our medium-term indicator represented by the blue line, and the EMA100 or the exponential moving average 100 days represented by the black line, which is our long-term, is well under the candlestick. I cannot plot a resistance since this is all this is the highest this is the highest for pha however the support is 2.07 so that's it for pha now let's take a look at asen okay asen asen had a bullish abandoned baby you know other indicators would say that um, the emma 20 is right over the candlestick which would indicate a bearish trend however the x the 50 day moving average exponential is still under the candlestick and right now the price level the, the support level would be at 549 and this is the level that may will be tested now the bullish abandoned baby is a sign of reversal and if we see a green candlestick tomorrow then we have a confirmation that there is a change in trend now since this is just over the candlestick the, the yellow uh, which is our short term that would indicate either a bearish um, a bearish sign or a sideways movement in the meantime the support is at 549 and the resistance nearest is 810 in the meantime the rsi is below 50 which would indicate a bearish trend next let's take a look at bdo okay bdo had a doji yesterday but it now had a morning star and uh, the volume is just above average and so it continues to move upwards but the doji and the morning star would indicate a um, the morning star with a, a small small uh, body would indicate a weakness in the upward trend it's probably tapering off no the, the price is probably tapering off or baka nagpapahinga lamang yung stop before it continues to move upward since our three main indicators the short, medium, and long-term indicator are well below the candlestick and our RSI of 59 is still indicating a bullish trend in the meantime, our nearest resistance is at 115 while the nearest support would be at 100 okay that's for video okay Dito Dito continues to move sideways so titignan natin ang support ni Dito nandito siya 11.42 so now today it ended at uh, 0.12 points higher or 1% but the support is at 11.42. So the candlesticks are still above our indicators, which would indicate a bullish trend. But if the price movement remains at this range, the uh, 11.42 and the resistance of, let's plot the resistance, of 14, then the stock may be moving sideways. So abangan natin tomorrow on what will happen to the to the price. Ang tingin ko dyan is bullish pa rin because our indicators would indicate a bullish movement. Otherwise, maaring sideways ang movement. Okay, SEC B. Okay, SEC B. SEC B continues to move sideways. Okay, we see the 30-day exponential moving piercing just through the candlesticks or just piercing through the candlesticks rather the nearest resistance is 139 the nearest support would be here at uh, 125 since we have a resistance here which is now a support and a support level here so sideways lang ang movement ni sec b in the meantime Ito yung news natin sa kanya, no? From Philstar. It says here that bank lending is lowest in over 14 years, according to the BSP. 
Credit growth fell below 1% in November last year, the slowest in more than 14 years, and could even turn negative next month due to uncertainties brought about by the pandemic, according to preliminary data from the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. Data from the BSP showed loans extended by big banks amounted to 8.99 trillion in end November last year, 0.46% higher than the 8.95 trillion recorded in end November of 2019. This was the slowest pace since lending by universal and commercial banks declined by 1.9% in September 2006. The figure is also lower than one, the 1.8% 1 growth in lending booked in October. Credit growth had been slowing as the economics, economy stood still when Luzon was placed under enhanced community quarantine in mid-March to show to slow the spread of the virus. However, businesses and consumers remained worried despite the partial reopening of the economy in June when the national capital region shifted to general community quarantine. Now, may I share with you the commentary of BDO Nomura? According to BDO Nomura, the latest loan growth data from BSP is in line with our expectations of low single-digit loan growth for 2020 as banks turn cautious in lending to vulnerable sectors and credit demand from corporate and consumer segments remains subdued due to the pandemic. We expect loan growth to gradually pick up this year as economic activity improves and recovers. We remain constructive on banks and have buy ratings for BPI and MBT, while we are neutral on SECB due to asset quality concerns following the higher than expected jump in NPLs to 4% in 3Q2020. Okay, so that is the commentary of BDO Nomura, buy siya sa BPI and MBT, while neutral siya sa SECB. Ano kaya yung target price niya sa BPI and MBT? Ang BPI, ang target price niya is 89, net 6% upside, while MBT, ang target price niya is uh, 53, which has uh, an approximately 11% upside. Magkano ba Metrobank ngayon? Metrobank, let's take a look at Metrobank. MBT. Metro Bank is at 49, while BPI is at 85.65. Okay, pero sec B, neutral siya sa sec B. No? Because uh, yun nga yung sinasabi niyang higher than expected NPL. So, yun yung uh, commentary ni BDO Nomura. Pwede kayo maniwala dyan? Pwede rin din. Okay, in the meantime, ang projection ko sa sec B, sideways movement. Okay? Next, let's take a look at SMPH. SMPH is the mall business of SM. Okay, the decline siya, no? And I think it's just also moving sideways. So, kung titignan natin, actually, slightly up, actually. No? Slightly up because yung trend line niya pataas pa rin. Excuse me. Pataas pa rin yung kanyang trend, ato? So, kung titignan natin yung orange line, pataas siya, no? Pataas yung galaw ni SMPH. So, let's draw a trend line. Ayan siya. So, ganyan lang siya. It just follows the EMA 20. So, ang tingin ko dyan, our support would be the EMA 20. No? EMA 20 is at 38.89 or 38.90. Yan yung support level niya. And the resistance would be, tingnan natin dito, nasa 41. So, very narrow lang yung kanyang channel. So, I expect um, SMPH still to move Sideways. Okay, Ali. Ali, sideways to sideways, no? And very team yung kanyang support and resistance. Let's draw a Darvas box. So, ito lang siya. siya. Ang upper line would be our resistance at 42.34, while support is at 40.11. Now, when I talk of support and resistance, these are not exact points, but areas. So, very narrow lang yung trading range ni Ayala lang. Okay, MRC. Okay, so MRC nag-recover siya today. From a red candlestick the previous day, uh, closing at 72 centavos, it made a 5 centavo rally at 6.94% of all to finish at 0.77. So bullish pa rin itong MRC. And in fact, if you will create a parallel channel, actually our trend line is the MA20. So our 
our support would be our EMA 20 at 0.62. So that's our support. And our resistance would be here at 0.79 to 0.80. So if you'll draw a channel, yan lang siya. Miss Light of Worship lang. Okay, so that's for MRC Allied. And then finally, we have SM. By the way, guys, if you have stocks in mind that you want me to review, please comment on the comment box and I will review them for you. Ipaprioritize mo natin siya. Okay, SM. Okay, sa akin, sideways din to, yeah? Sideways din si SM. So, nasa, it's just moving within this box. Yan lang siya. You will see the short-term indicator, the orange line is piercing through the candlestick, sideways yun. So yung upper border would be 1,097, which is our resistance, and the lower border is the 1,024, which is our support. So it continues to move sideways. Yan po ang ating report sa stock market, January 13, 2021. Ito po si Benji Chidoro, nagpapaalala, mag-ingat. Mag-ingat po kayo sa pagsakay sa jeep, mag-ingat po kayo sa pagmamaneho, mag-ingat po kayo sa mandurukot, mag-ingat po kayo sa scam. Ang sabi ni Benjamin Franklin, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. See you again in our next episode at maraming salamat sa inyong pagtangkirik.